Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Yesenia Bocaneira and today we will be talking about travel photography and more specifically travel gear, what to bring, what's my favorite gear, my camera gear. And I'm gonna talk about this really awesome backpack that I just got and I'll just show it. So take a look. Today we will be talking about travel photography and not more specifically gear, travel backpacks and photography. What gear do you bring and what backpacks to bring? What's the best? Well, I recently was talking to a fellow photographer friend of mine and he referred me to, or he said that I should get this bag specifically. Well, he didn't say that I should get it. He just showed it to me, which pretty much is like, you have to get this. Um, so this is, a camera backpack for Dakin. Hopefully I'm saying this brand name right. And it is super cool because it is a 33 liter type of bag. So it has a lot of space. I'm gonna start with just the front and it has um, this here, which I think it has to do with snowboards, but I, I don't really do snowboarding. I've only done it once and I was not quite the best of it. So I just try to stick away from it. Although not quite. Anyways. So it has a front zipper with some, like another, like a smaller compartment with a mesh. And it has some area here where you can probably put some pens and things like that. It has another zipper compartment here. It has a padded area for your laptop. I think it would fit like a 17, like a thinner one, ideally. And then it comes with a sticker so you can remove this. Then it also has a front or top compartment, which has a smaller mesh pocket and it's pretty like maybe three inches deep. So you can put a couple of things, maybe personal stuff there, like your passport, things like that. It comes with a rain cover, which is very convenient. Pretty cool. In the back, it's padded so it gives you that back support as well and it has the waist straps which i really love because especially when you're hiking and you're just constantly walking quite a lot you're walking and then you have gear on top of that that might be heavy so you definitely want to have that back and that back support so you're not like hunched and you don't hurt yourself while you're traveling and enjoying the outdoors and it's just pretty much wandering around it has two front pockets that you can access very quickly just for maybe, I don't know, like snacks or um, just loose change, something like that. So it has it on both sides. It has the thicker buckle. You can adjust that on the sides if you wanted to or if you need to. It has a side pocket here. Yep. So you can put some other stuff, maybe water right there. It has another one here on the side as well. See, it's pretty deep. Then let's go to the back. So it opens in the back, it has another zipper here, and then you have the compartment. So it's pretty uh, decent, it's a decent size. Depending on the gear that you have, you may have one or two camera bodies with at least one or two long lenses. It depends on what you have as far as gear goes. So technically it's actually not a separate backpack because it doesn't have any straps here. It just has this taller strap. There you go. So you would have to carry it like so. Not necessarily the best option, but when you look at it, you have two separate backpacks or two bags that you can bring with you inside the cabin. So you have this as your, or you can use this as your, um, personal item and then use this as your carry-on. So it's pretty spacious and um, yeah, you can put a couple of 
you know, clothes items and maybe something else, any sort of, anything pretty much what you want. So at least you have now your camera gear and you have some personal, some uh, additional items that you can bring with you in, your, in the cabin. And if you're checking luggage, then you have that. So this, I have not, I have yet to use this. I literally just got it and received it yesterday and I'm very happy. I think the only thing that I'm not super crazy about is the fact that this one does not have separate straps. I think that would have been perfect. But still, I can't really, I mean, it's it's like having two bags, which I feel is pretty cool, especially when it comes to um, having something that's versatile enough that would let you bring additional personal items on you just for safety measure, you know, because sometimes if you're, if you're checking in luggage, a lot of things can happen. Your, your luggage, your main luggage can be delayed or can be, you know, something happens. So I am taking this gear soon to Iceland and I will give you my feedback when I come back and see how it worked out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. See you guys soon.